Hey guys, North Bank here with another YouTube video, and today I'm going to be making a vest that can stop a 5.56 five, or a 2.23 bullet. In a previous video, I made a vest that could stop pistol rounds, and I used quarter inch thick steel and it weighed about 8 pounds. I didn't even try it with a rifle round because I knew it would just go right through, so that's why I'm making this video. So I'm going to go to a hardware store and I'm going to get some ceramic tiles. And the reason why ceramic tiles are good for bulletproof vests is because ceramic is really hard, it's harder than steel. So the idea is when the bullet hits the ceramic, the bullet breaks up into fragments and then I'm going to put either steel or some type of Kevlar behind it. So it will break up into fragments and then it will, all the fragments will get caught with the steel or the Kevlar. So I'm going to go to the hardware store right now. So I went to Home Depot and I got three ceramic plates. I also got two um, two metal plates. They're about a tenth of an inch thick. I have a ceramic tile. I'm going to put it over the metal. I might do a few more layers and other things because I don't know if this will be able to stop a 223 on its own. But so the bullet goes through here so and it gets torn apart and then the metal catches it. And then I also got silicone to glue them together. So I'm gonna go make this. I have three uh, magazines. So I'm gonna lay them out like this. Just tape them together. So then you wanna put the steel plates like this. I know it's only gonna cover this much, but that's just what we're gonna work with right now. I don't think this fits this tube. I don't think yeah. Well, yep, it doesn't fit. God dang it. Okay, we're back to the smaller one right here. Mother, okay, there we go. Oh, jeez. Hey. So I decided that I'm just gonna put uh, another magazine behind here. I know it's not gonna work nearly as well as the steel probably will, but I don't really have another option. Okay guys, this is the vest. Actually, I'm gonna bend this over. Previous videos, I've shown you how to make a whole vest out of pretty much just duct tape and magazines. But a long time ago, I, have, I made this vest. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this vest as uh, the holder pretty much. And I'm just gonna tape it to here. I know that people might get mad because I'm not showing you how to make the whole vest. But I don't know. So I'm just gonna tape this to here. And then the vest is pretty much done. Okay, well I mounted that properly. If you are thinking about making this vest, please know that I am not responsible for any injuries occurred during testing or making this vest. And this is not a guaranteed vest. You could make it worse than I did and it might not be as good as this one. Do not test it with you wearing it. If you are thinking about testing it, I am also not responsible for that. This is the finished vest. Weighs about eight to 10 pounds. It's really comfortable with these straps on here. You can move around. It can stop an AR-15 bullet for sure. And I'm also gonna shoot it with an AK-47 to see if it can penetrate it. I'm gonna go to the range and shoot it. I forgot to put this in the video, but at, I added um, four of these quarter inch thick steel plates to the back of the vest just in case, because I don't think it could stop a 223 without them. Then I shot the plate without the ceramic in front of it, just the plate without the vest. Right Is that quarter inch steel? Uh-huh. I don't know if it's hardened in any way. I don't think so. 
Here's one of the steel plates that did not get shot. And then here's the plate that was behind the vest right here. So the bullet went through that mending plate and then it got all torn up by all this um, ceramic. And then all the fragments hit this piece of metal and it did not penetrate. But just to show you how that ceramic did make the difference, here's just the steel plate that we shot. It went right through. So you can see that the ceramic did make the difference in this situation. I only ended up shooting it one time just because the vest fell apart because I didn't put it together good enough, but it did stop the bullet and that's what's important. This vest did exactly what I wanted it to do. It stopped 223 and I bet it could have stopped multiple if it didn't fall apart because I didn't put it together that well. But in the future, I will make another bulletproof vest video. I stopped a pretty big bullet going pretty fast, so I don't know what I'm, what bullet I'm going to try to stop next or just try to make it lighter, but I will make a bulletproof vest 3 video. I don't know when it will be out, but I'm going to do it.